YouTube, it's your boy, Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. You know I got my main man with me. Hook City. And it's going down. Hey, today we're gonna mix it up. I know y'all are ready for that catch, clean, and cook, and we got one. Man, I woke up this morning, I was like, you know what? It's time to show people a different way to prepare their crappie than just regular old golden fillets. Now listen, believe me, I love fried crappie. I love fried crappie, just straight up fried crappie. But today I have an auntie. We're gonna meet her in the kitchen after we after we leave this grocery store. We're gonna get in the kitchen with my auntie and she gonna put y'all on something that y'all are gonna love. It's gonna be great for parties, great for being by yourself. Just, just a change up. A change of pace from just regular old crappie fillets. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to catch these crappie, clean these crappie, and cook these crappie. Let's go, baby. We're at the grocery store. My shopping cart for the day is gonna be a 13 foot ACC crappie stick. I'm gonna be using the Daiwa Real 1000 series with the uh, Power Pro line and High Viz Yellow. Somebody asked about the jigs I'm using, man. We in the summertime are gonna be on these hand tie jigs. This is a 1 8 ounce. Got the crappie nibble, black and chartreuse. Dad is using this 12 with the dial with black and chartreuse as well. The reason why we picked black and chartreuse is because this water is usually clearer than this. This wind has kicked up a mud line a little bit and got our, our water a little dingy. So what we're gonna do is use something that's a little more high contrast for dingy or dirty water, which is black and chartreuse or stained water as well. We're gonna use that. I forgot to tell y'all we got the split shot up top. Not a cannonball, just a little something extra to add some weight in this wind. Let's drop down and get some groceries. That ain't no limb. That ain't no limb. Oh boy. That ain't no limb brim. Oh, I'm gonna let him go. No, I ain't. Bring it back. Bring it back like a remix. All right, guys. All right. That's a good one, but he's skinny. What'd you think? We need two good fillets. That's a fillet, you want, look at, look at there. He a little impoverished. You want him? Yeah. Well, he got to go. That, do you hear what my, listen. I ain't gonna be disobedient. My daddy said put him in there. So in he goes. Go on down. Keep going. Stop. Here he come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see if I can back though. Since he was aggressive, I'm gonna see if we get one more aggressive one. See if anybody else down there aggressive like that. Oh my God. Yeah, they down there fighting. <laughs> Call the gang unit. They down there ganging up on me. Yeah, call the gang unit. Come on, 13. Boy, that fish trying to handle me. I see why, too. Boat flip with the 13 while I'm catching 13s. ACC crappie sticks. Be on the lookout for those 13s. They're supposed to be coming soon. Boy, I nailed that. Look at that. Hey, what what that fish say? Hee haw. It's donkey time. It's donkey time. Now, that one. It's going to the catch. You want to go to a catch clean and cook? Yes. Oh, okay. Boy, that's boy, boy, boy. That's a catch clean and cook fish right there, y'all. Back on it, bitch. You know it. There he come. That's him. Talk about it. Talk about it. Get him, Dad. Yeah. Yes, sir. We done found the mule station. 
Well, Not the back. fuel station, but the mule station. Yeah, well, we I'm feeling energized. Let me drop down there and see if I can back yeah, dope. Yeah. Hold the door open for me, Dad. I'm coming through. Well, the first two didn't play, did you? Oh, wait a minute. Baby, baby. All right, guys, that's a baby, but listen, let me show you something. Hold on. Let me show you something. People always say, man, you ever catch them little racing stripe crappie? Guys, these things are not new to Texas, man. That's a beautiful little black crappie, man. But look at his nose. And listen, he got a little goatee, too. Y'all didn't know that, did you? He got a little goatee, too. Beautiful little black crappie. But yes, we do catch a lot of these in Texas. Get him, Dad. Get him, Dad. You better come on. You better come on. I got you. Come on back. Yes, sir. I believe you better get back to work. I have a list. Everybody lays the boom or something like that. Everybody lays the boom. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Guys. I know I'm Boom Jr., but I still lays the boom. Let's go, baby. Black and chartreuse making the donkeys cut loose. He Let's go, baby. Go around the back. There you go. Stop. You're right on him. Here you come. Yes, sir. He got some back fat on him. That dog got a broke tail. He gonna have broke everything by the time we done with him tonight. There's another one, y'all. Listen. Oh, look at the back. Oh, look at the fat back on that black cat. I mean, he meant it too. He tried to swallow it on the first bite. Whee. He didn't do no chewing. He didn't do no chewing. Come on, y'all. Give it to me in the comment section. Can your boy get a he ha? Let me put him in. He bleeding. That just means we're going to be feeding. Let's go. Boy. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's good. Man, y'all. Man. We out here grinding. But look at the back straps. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's looking good in there. Oh, that's a heavy fish. Oh, God. Ooh. Boy, 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 boy. Y'all better stop. Drop and roll. Because the whole video is on fire. Let's go, baby. God almighty. I bet you you bring this one in the boat. I bet you you bring this one. <laughs> I bet you you bring that one in the boat. Listen, hey, what'd he do? Yeah. What'd you do? Huh? Boom. Come on, daddy. Drop one, bring one. I know you wasn't finna start messing around with that one. Yeah, you, you, it took you a minute on that last one. I said, I bet you he don't hesitate on this one. I'm gonna put him on it. Let's go, Dad. 
Hey, let me flip you up. Don't do it. Hey, hey, yeah. we ain't crying over spoiled milk. No. Let me see that. Let me see that fish. Let me see that fish. Yes, sir. Donkey show. Y'all know what time it is. That's Hook City right there. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> y'all, the camera wasn't on again. Y'all know I'm good for it. I got to pull the dog on fish back out because y'all got to see that. Even daddy said I laid the boom on this one. Yeah, you laid the there boom on that one. Even dad said I laid the boom on that one. Y'all know what I got to do. Hee-haw! Let's go, baby. <laughs> and just like that, guys, we're done with the catching portion of this catch, clean, and cook. We're gonna be moving on. We got the boat trailer. We're trying to hurry up so that we can get to auntie's house on time. I'm gonna give you a quick run through of what it's gonna take to clean these crappie. But note that we do have an extended full version of how to fillet crappie. I have the link right here provided for you. Let's hurry up, I'm in a rush. It's a simple method. Oh yeah, we got enough power. We're gonna be using that uh, Mr. Twister today. Left the bubble at home. But look, there's a few simple cuts. Y'all have seen it again. We'll provide a link for the uh, for the tutorial. This is just a quick clean, man. We gotta get there. So I'm gonna go behind the uh, fin, make the first cut. That's first cut. Second cut, we're gonna go in. All right, third cut. Right here. All right, there you have your fillet. Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut out the rib cake, guys, so it'll be boneless. Rib cage out. Good clean fillet. It's a good clean fillet right there. Flip them over. Let's do it again. It's been a long road. Catch, clean, and I told y'all the last part of this thing is cooked. Made it to Auntie's house. We're gonna call her Miss Grim Lip Ripper because we got my uncle, Grim Lip Ripper. Y'all see it? Sweet. There it is. So look, we're in their house. She's about to show us how to make what? Crappie balls. Crappie balls, all right. So I have all my ingredients here. We have our fresh fish. We have our eggs. These eggs are going to go um inside of the mix here these eggs are we're gonna dip the crappie balls in there to uh put the fish fry on okay and uh, a lot of times when people um, make something like this they use flour as a paste right i'm gonna use townhouse crackers okay now is that, that a, is that a healthier taste. alternative or what's the reason it's well the buttery yeah. taste mm -hmm. not really a okay okay alternative. I'm about to say we frying so you're gonna get a whole <laughs> lot of help <laughs> Y'all, this is my healthy lady. She be out there running 54 miles in 20 minutes. So yeah, I, I know she's doing a little more than what she probably want to. Right. These are these are not your healthiest, but, you know, they're good. Okay. Um, We got our fish fry. We have uh, bell pepper, onion, and our seasoning. There we go. And my infamous food processor. Uh oh and we're going to be using the food processor. We're going to be using the food processor. All right, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a little bit excited. My stomach is rumbling. <laughs> And my taste buds are tumbling. Okay, it's, it's time to go. So she's gonna get the food processor out. Man, we have some really cool ingredients. Everything that makes me say that this is gonna be out of sight. All right, um, I'm happy about it. The big man is happy about it. So she's gonna get the blades. We're gonna let her get some stuff prepared. But the bell pepper, the crackers, the black pepper, and she even had tasty tangy, y'all. I know y'all been looking for that since the last Catch Clean Cook. Let's go. This is how I do the dry ingredients first because everything else is going to moisten. Got the crumbs. I see you with the crumbs. <laughs> while, you, while you're getting everything together. So you, I'm guessing you serve these things in a lot of different places uh, for different events. Can you kind of tell me about that? 
Well, these are very good for um, appetizers. Okay. It's almost like a hush puppy. Okay. But when you're having a fish fry or you want an appetizer for dinner, any kind, anything like that, you can. Uh, these things are good for it. The crappie bars are good for it. Okay. And so any type of party. Any type of party. Super Bowl party. Yes. NBA party. finals. Yeah. You know, okay. We can start having those again. <laughs> already. Already. <laughs> and they're good for an entree. They're okay. filling. They're filling. Okay, so that can be your main course it or can, your side dish. That's right. I got you. So we got that crushed up. Now we're going to do our fish. So, so far, guys, we've used six um, crappie fillets, just regular size, legal limit size <laughs> uh, crappie fillets. We've also used one full sleeve of what are rich crackers? No, townhouse crackers. Townhouse crackers. They're more buttery. They're buttery. So we're looking for the buttery flavor out yeah, of that. Yeah, it's like ground meat. Just like ground meat. Mm -hmm. Guys, and that is fresh right out the water. It gets no better than that, y'all. It gets no better than that. As you notice, fellas, like I say, you know the ladies do it, fellas. As you go, clean. <laughs> clean as you go. Your wife will be happy with you. And you'll be able to sit down and enjoy your meal without all the cleanup afterwards. Clean as you go. So we got the crappie in a bowl. Next thing we're gonna do is our bell pepper and onion. Okay, so we're using the food processor to do it all. Yeah. I, I'll let I'll let manual chopping is out the window when you got the processor. So look, for y'all that can't cook, don't just be dumping whole bell peppers and onions. <laughs> Number one, you gotta peel your onion. You don't want all that stuff all over your onion. So look, we're gonna peel the onion. She's gonna cut it into chunks. Same thing with the bell pepper. I'm guessing uh, remove all these seeds and everything. Mm -hmm. That's um, what I'm ready to do now. There it is. Just a quick reminder, y'all. We do have grease on the stove. Please do not forget your grease on the stove. Um, and one thing I can tell you, Auntie, she made sure she didn't put that thing too hot. We ain't all the way on hot. So we'll be able to smell our grease, see our grease, and remember our grease while we're doing all our prep work. So I got one bell pepper. One whole bell pepper. Prepped up, I'm gonna drop it in here. Got my onion, I'm gonna drop it. One whole, regular size onion, not too large. Okay. And you're gonna add it all in at the same time because it's all gonna be going into the same mixture. Same bowl, yep. All right, here we go. Now does this thing have, do you know what, what brand of um, food processor you're using? It is a Hamilton Beach. Hamilton Beach, so that can be found at Walmart. Yeah. You want to chop it up pretty fine because the balls, are, you don't want chunks yeah. of this. Yeah, you know, right. Because they're not going to leave it so big. Right, you want flavor, you don't want chunks of onion and bell pepper. I know y'all can't smell this, but let me tell you something. Bell pepper and onion. I, maybe it's because I'm getting old. Now, back in the day, I didn't want nothing to do with no bell pepper and onion. But at 37 years old, that smells good all by itself, y'all. I'm telling y'all, my stomach. This food processor help with them burning eyes. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't lying. Now, are these similar to uh, to what people make as a uh, crappie croquette? Crappie croquette, almond croquette. Similar, yes. So this is this is a, a similar dish. Yes. Now what what would be the difference between the two? Well, it all depends on uh, you make them the same way, but like I said, it all depends on what you add. Like I'm adding my uh, townhouse crackers opposed okay. to the flour um, or flour. okay. And uh, the croquettes you don't deep fry. Okay, yeah, you're sure right. You pan fry. Yes. Okay. So we have the bell pepper, onion fish. I'm going to add the crackers just because I need the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go in. So, so it doesn't matter when you add the crackers in? No, it doesn't matter because it's just, it's just uh, the paste, actually. Okay. So we have that. I'm going to add the egg. So and we're adding two eggs at this point? Right now I'm going to add one. Okay and see how it does with my cracker. If I need to add more crackers or more, um, thank you, more crackers or more egg. 
Got you. Okay. Again, you're doing it by feel. By feel. Okay. So what consistency are we looking or what are we looking for? You don't want it too moist. You want it to be able to stick together. Okay. If you make it too moist, it's not going to shape into a ball. Got you. So you want to be able to shape it into a ball. So that's why we're using one egg first and if need be, we'll be using the second egg. All right. We're going to learn you something today, y'all. Weber garlic mm -hmm. jalapeno. Yes, All right. that's my favorite. But you can't use too much of it. <laughs> okay, so it is strong. It's bold. It's spicy. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah. Okay. Again, it's just by feel. We're gonna call that a tablespoon. No, that's that's better <laughs> than a tablespoon. <laughs> that's that's one of those uh, cooking spoons. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a palm. That's about a palm. <laughs> okay. okay. And just because this is Hook City, we're going to add this. <laughs> oh, she got the tasty tangy, y'all. Yeah, just for Y'all know what time it is. Just for you. McCormick needs to call me. <laughs> I can sell some tasty tangy. Y'all been hitting me up in the comments about that tasty tangy. Look, and those that have got their hands on it know it goes down with that tasty tangy. We're halfway home. Cracker. Bell pepper, onion, seasonings, and spices. We're gonna be using Louisiana fish fry. Season. Let's go. Let's go. So this little contraption right here is so what cool, y'all. It it's just a, a breading tool. Take it all down. Okay. I am going to crack an egg. And you don't necessarily have to use the egg. When um battering the fish. Okay. I like to. Just as a binder, right? Yes. To make sure that your breading stays on. Yes, but it's it's moist enough where you don't have to. Okay. But I like to. Gotcha. We're gonna be using these eggs now so that after they're breaded, oh excuse me, before they're breaded, um, we're gonna make sure it has just enough moisture that it that the breading will stick to it real good. And then the next step is that frying. Mix your eggs. Some people use eggs and milk. Some people use milk. Y'all have seen me use mustard. What that is again is just a binder, y'all. So how did you how did you come up with the crappie balls? What like what's the what's the what happened? <laughs> Some had to go off in your brain and said, you know what? I can do this. It's a funny thing. I think it happened when your uncle Sam mm -hmm. and your uncle Weldon, the grim lip ripper, in okay. there, they were having some kind of contest where they decided they wanted to cook something and who was going to do it the best. Okay. <laughs> so we came up with these crappie balls and I think Sam made crappie, like salmon pat. I mean crappie patties. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to say whose was the best. But. 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 <laughs> talk, to, talk to me. Talk to me. But you see we still making crappie There you balls. go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah. All right, so we're going okay, for the so, egg size. All right, so we got one ball here. Okay. And we're going to dip it in the egg. Believe me, it's less messier without the egg, but you just want to lightly dip it. And we're going to sit it right in here. Okay, so you're going to make up the you're going to make, up, make the balls up so, first. Yeah, so I can so I can drop them all in the grease at the same time. Got you. So, just a little roll and you can, yeah, and you can make them as, as big as you want. Just make sure your frying time is is adapt, adapt your frying times. So right. You want to make sure that you don't have a raw center in a, right. in a fried outside. Right. This ain't a steak. We don't we don't need a medium rare or none no, of that. No, we don't. <laughs> we want that thing fried all the way through. Comment section. I want to know, guys, have any of y'all ever tried crappie balls or, or crappie croquettes? Either or. Comment section. We want to hear about it. We're going to get this thing filled up, y'all. And next step is what, Auntie? We're going to drop them in that hot grease. Let's go. All right. All right, guys, we got that thing uh, <clears throat> loaded in. We don't want them touching. Um, so we got as many as we can without them touching. Now, this is the cool thing. <laughs> so we got them battered up, guys. Listen, I done told y'all, I see a lot of people doing catch, clean, and cooks, frying stuff, and they grease don't sizzle. Quit boiling crappie. 
<laughs> you make that thing sizzle, just like Auntie got going here. And they will float when they done, just like Just this. like anything else. Yeah. They will float when they are done, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about four minutes in, almost five. We're starting to get the float like she was talking about. You can tell they're floating. If you tap on one, it'll pop back up, just like so. <laughs> so they're starting to float. They're getting that brown to them, like you see when you're frying crappie regularly. Mm -hmm. It's known because they're deep frying. There's no need to really turn them or right. anything. All right, y'all, y'all see it. Crappie balls coming out the grease. I always use you some kind of either drip pan or a paper towel to soak up any of the excess grease. Oh man. Look at him, he coming to he coming to check what's going. Look at him rubbing his belly and everything, y'all. <laughs> Now wait a minute, Auntie. Now what's this little stuff in the center? Now we're gonna have to talk that's about my, this. That's my uh, sweet chili sauce here. Sweet chili. My favorite. Okay. Balls. Okay. Okay. Right. So we, listen, we got a whole new flavor to say, fellas. Yes, sir. Let me let me let me see what y'all got, man. Let yeah, me know what y'all think. I already know what she done done, man. <laughs> she already hooked it up. She done laid it down. <laughs> My main man. Paper towel. Look, city. Paper towel. The Grim Lip Ripper. Grim Lip Ripper. Thank you. We're going to let them get the first taste before I figure out what's going on. Get a little, get a little sauce. A little sauce. I need, I need first reaction. Uncle Welly, you go first. Oh, man. Let me see the inside of that. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Talk don't get no better than that. It don't get no better. Don't get no better. Here we than go. That. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Great. Talk to me. I don't know what you're tasting. Be great. What are you tasting it now? You can't be double dipping now. Y'all double dipping the sauce. <laughs> no. Hey, I need some sauce. Be my. Be my. Be my double dipping. No, that's why I turn it around. What you, what you think about the sauce to go with it, Dad? Great. That sauce gives it a little, little kick. We got a little twang in got it. Little, got little, a little, little sweet twang to it. A little twang in that thing. Let me see. Twang in the thing. That's good. Man. All right, y'all. Look, I've been doing a whole lot of videoing. I done did a whole lot of fishing. And I'm done wishing. <laughs> it's done. Okay? So, look, we're not going to eat a whole lot because we, we're trying to stay away from the fry. But we're gonna have to lay all those rules to the side. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna get one of these crappy bottles. Now listen, the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it without the sauce. So I can taste all the ingredients without any kind of extra punch. That's good. That's good. Lord, we thank you for this food that we're now about to receive. Thank you for my age. Thank you for the filet. And thank you for fat. Fish fry gives us a little bit of that crunch as well. But man, that thing. Is, that th Ooh. Don't bite the screen. Don't bite it. Don't <laughs> bite the screen. Guys, cooked well all the way through. Yeah. Make sure they float, okay? Man, that is good. The bell pepper, the onion, the crop. You can't even tell it's crappie. That's the crazy part about it. You go out there, 
have fun catching some fish. Come back in, make you some of these crappie balls. Listen, from the windows to the walls, you're gonna be hollering. Boy, that's good. That's good. Okay, listen, I'm gonna grab another one. We ain't double dipping around here. I'm, I'm gonna get it. So we got, we're gonna use a little bit of the sauce. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it in there good. Look, and if you make them small enough. <laughs> Mm. Okay. I'm trying not to chew and talk, but my, my mouth won't stop chewing. <laughs> ah, hold on. Woo! I'm glad my mama ain't here. That thing can make you slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> mama, lock the door. <laughs> Woo! Y'all done seen it. It's your boy Fisher King of City TV. We out you.